सो हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज अभय झा माई रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर इज ट्वेंटी बी आई वन जीरो थ्री वन एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट दिस नैन टू टेट्रिस प्रोजेक्ट वन सो फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक डॉक्टर अब्दुल कादिर सर हु हैज गिवन मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डू द नैन टू टेट्रिस कोर्स एंड दिस कोर्स हैज गिवन मी एन इन साइट इन टू कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स सो मूविंग ऑन टू नैन टू टेट्रिस प्रोजेक्ट वन so first this nand to tetris course uh, requires us to build different chips like or gate and gate not gate etc using the elementary logic gate nand uh, and this is what the project one is all about it assumes that the nand gate is a basic chip which is given to us and we need to build all the chips using that and also it allows us to use the chips that we have already made earlier to make new chips so you can see the full list of chips which are there in the project one of nand to tetris now moving on what is this hardware simulator so in nand to tetris there is one hardware simulator uh, which we can use for project one and this hardware simulator provides as an option to run and test chips without using the actual hardware so for this three files are provided for each chip the .hdl file the .txt file and the .compare file cmp file so the test file contains a script which basically loads the hdl file and the compare file and tries to compare the output of each chip uh, with a comparison file so um the hardware simulator is a software in which we can load um the test file and we can do the hardware simulation okay so moving on now let's start with the chips so the first chip is and and the hdl code is uh, given on the left hand side over here and here is the diagram for the and gate so basically we have used one nand gate and we have attached one not gate with it and these two elementary things the nand gate and the not gate are given to us uh, in nand to tetris so we do not have to build them so the two inputs they go to the nand gate followed by the not gate and finally we get the output the same thing is implemented in this hdl code where we are given this nand gate and the not so first uh, the nand gate takes uh, two of the inputs and the output is given to the not gate and finally we get the output from the output of the not gate so here is the uh, simulation in the hardware simulator and we can see over here that uh, this and gate the comparison has ended successfully so similarly we move on to the or gate where we basically use uh, two not gates and we uh, pass the input through to not gates and then we pass it on to a nand gate so uh, what it does is first we take uh, the complement of the two inputs and then pass it to the nand gate so the same thing is implemented over here in the hdl file and we can see that the comparison file basically uh, used here is basically we are setting 0001 and so on and the comparison has basically ended successfully moving on to the not gate so here what we have done we have basically used a nand gate and we have given both the inputs to this nand gate and the output is actually a not gate so uh, basically we give both the inputs to the nand gate uh, not both the inputs we actually have only one input and we give the same input in both the terminals of the nand gate and finally we get get output as the not the complement of the input so uh, this is the comparison of the not gate uh, done in hardware simulator 
now moving on we have multiplexer so what the multiplexer does is uh, it basically you uses a select line and uh, it basically selects the two input lines and uh, sends the output through just one output line so here we have uh, two inputs a and b which are given to two and gates and then we have the select line and the select line is given directly to uh, the second input of one and gate and the complement of the second line using the not gate is given to the input of second input of the second and gate and followed by the output basically goes through an or gate so basically if we have one over here and zero over here so what happens is that uh, first uh, we get the input over here one goes here and the select line is basically one so here one goes so this and get returns true and the complement of one which is zero zero goes here and the second select line is not selected similarly if the select is zero so what happens uh, the complement of that um, becomes one so this and get works and this does not work so similarly the uh, according to that uh, actually the input a and b are selected and finally uh, we have we are combining that using the or gate so that acts as a multiplexer same thing is implemented over here in the hdl code we are having the not thing and thing and thing and or thing and uh, we can see that according to the diagram the pins are connected and uh, we can see that the test has also successfully completed so now moving on to the next slide so uh, here we have the demultiplexer so the chip code diagram and the results are given over here so what happens is, is that uh, we basically uh, have one input and we send it to two AND gates and the select line is given directly to one AND gate and the complement of the select line is given to another AND gate so what happens is that uh, the input uh, basically gets broken into two lines based on the select line so if select line is one so we get output over here and if the select line is zero then we get output over here and the same thing is implemented here in HDL. So what happens is that uh, we can break the input from one line to multiple lines based on a select line. So that is what a demultiplexer does and this is the uh, comparison. So this HDL file has successfully ended its uh, comparison in the hardware simulator and um, this is what we have for the demultiplexer. So now moving on to the 16 bit AND gate. So what basically is over here is that the chip code test results are given and uh, the diagram is not given because we do not actually need a diagram what this chip has is basically it has a 16 bit bus as its input to 16 bit buses so we can just use one and gate and give uh, the first input of the bus to it and then get the output first output of the output bus and similarly we use 16 AND gates to implement this AND 16 so that's as simple as that a simple AND gate but 16 of them for a 16 bit AND gate so here the HDL uh, comparison is also done in the hardware simulator and uh, the comparison is done successfully so let's move on similarly for OR 16 we have like 16 bit buses so we are using 16 different OR gates and passing one by one so we get um, the output bus as uh, a 16 bit bus and uh, using 16 OR gates we are able to implement this uh, 16 bit OR gate so here is the HDL file comparison in hardware simulator so now let's move on so now we are moving on to the not 16 so in not 16 what we have is uh, the same thing we are given 16 bit input and 16 bit output so we are passing 1 to 16 16 not gates and 
output uh, we are getting over here so the same thing uh, nothing uh, much complicated over here so uh, here we are um, using this in hardware simulator and the comparison is added successfully and now let's move on to the max 16 so that's a 16 bit multiplexer so similarly what we have done is we have used 16 different multiplexers and we have given like um, the input 0 input z um, in input a of 0 input b of 0 so two different input buses and we are using the first bit of the bus and then the select line is common for everything and the output is the out zero so similarly we have used 16 different uh, multiplexers and we have implemented this max 16 now moving on uh, this is the xor gate so here we have implemented the xor gate using uh, one and gate and one or gate followed by a not gate and we are combining the output of these two using another or gate followed by another not gate and we are basically splitting the input uh, we are uh, basically splitting uh, the a uh, part of the input uh, into the AND gate and the OR gate and also same uh, the B part of the input is also splitted and it goes in the second input of the AND gate and also the second input of the uh, OR gate so uh, this is how it's implemented in the HDL so AND is there so A and B and or also a and b the inputs basically go uh, like this and uh, what happens is the output of this and gate and the or gate are actually combined in uh, this or gate but before that we have used one not gate uh, just to make sure that the output of the or gate is uh, basically inverted over here and then uh, we have used a final or gate uh, to combine this and uh, these um, inputs and then we are finally inverting it using a final not get over here so uh, this exclusive or basically returns zero for both one and otherwise it works as a normal or get so this is the comparison and it has ended successfully over here so now moving on we have an eight way or so as you can see in this diagram uh, what happens is that we uh, basically split the input into eight different inputs and we use four OR gates and we basically give them eight inputs and then we combine their outputs using two more OR gates and then we combine their output using one more OR gate. So basically what happens is that we actually have eight different inputs and we can give eight different inputs and we can get the OR functionality for all those different eight inputs so that is the eight way or so the same thing is implemented here in hdl using four uh, or gates then two or gates and one or gate so um, we have done this comparison uh, over here in the hardware simulator and the comparison has successfully ended so over here now we have the next chip which is the dmux four way so uh, in this DMUX 4-way actually we require four different outputs uh, from just one input so that is why we are given a select line uh, which is of two bits and uh, sorry not two bits three bits so here we are having a three bit bus over here in the select line so what is there over here that uh, the select line we are having uh, three different buses so we have one uh, two and three so uh, what is uh, here is that the select line first goes to one demultiplexer where the input goes it basically converts it into two different lines which is again in turn sent to two different uh, demultiplexers and based on the uh, uh, select line the second bit of the select line which is given to this these two demultiplexers we are getting four different outputs so actually here we are given a three bit select line but actually we require two bits only so that is why we are using the first bit over here and the second bit we are using for these two demultiplexers 
and it's, uh, using these three multiplexers we have implemented the four way multiplexer and here the comparison has ended successfully so this is what is there in dmux four way so similarly we have dmux eight way and the diagram is not over here because uh, instead of uh, uh, here we have used 1D multiplexer and then two more D multiplexers. So in DMUX 8 way we first use one single uh, D multiplexer and then we can use two different uh, four way uh, D multiplexers. So we have already made this four way D multiplexer. So here we can use a four way D multiplexer and here also we can use a four way D multiplexer and here we can use a normal D multiplexer. So what will happen is that uh, a four way D multiplexer will basically output four different lines. So in turn we will get eight different lines of output using just one line of input. So similarly we have implemented over here. Here we have uh, actually uh, three bits of um, uh, the select line. So a three bit bus. And what we are doing, uh, the bits uh, 0 to 1 uh, from the bus uh, means the bit 0 and 1 is actually given to the four way multiplexers, demultiplexers. I'm sorry. Uh, and the first demultiplexer is given the uh, second line of the select, and the input is given to the first demultiplexer, and the output two outputs of this demultiplexer are given to the four way. Uh, D multiplexers and the second bit of this uh, sorry first bit of the select line uh, is given to both of them and the second bit of the select line is given to this so which in turn gives us eight different outputs from A to H so here the comparison has been done in the hardware simulator now we have MUX 16 four way so basically four way means uh, for a multiplexer there will be four different inputs and we have to combine them in one single line of output so that is what a multiplexer does so basically we have used three mux 16s and what basically happens is that we have this diagram similar to that uh, we can think uh, uh, these two are two different multiplexers and there is one multiplexer and what is there is actually four different lines of input so in a multiplexer actually input are of four different lines and um, uh, using the select line we are converting it to converting the input into two different lines which actually goes to another multiplexer which uh, uses the second bit of the select line to convert it into just one single output so this is basically opposite of the dmux four way that is MUX 16 four way and one more thing is there that this is MUX 16. So actually we are given 16 bit buses as the input. So here we are having four different inputs and uh, the select line zero is given over here uh, and the outputs of these two multiplexers are given to the third multiplexer which uses the second um, um, bit of the select line and uh, gives output as its uh, single output. So here we have used the hardware simulator to um, actually compare uh, this MUX 16 four way and uh, finally we have the MUX 16 eight way. So in this uh, basically it is similar to the DMUX eight way uh, except for one thing that uh, this is multiplexer and we have 16 bit multiplexer. So similarly we are doing the same thing. We are using two actually four way 16 multiplexers and we are passing four inputs over here four inputs over here and using the uh, first two bits of the select line we are uh, actually selecting uh, from these four inputs into one input and from these four inputs into one input and finally we are passing these two inputs into uh, one input using the second bit of uh, sorry third bit of the select line so what is basically happening is that we are giving eight different inputs and we are getting just one output so that is mux 16 eight way and here we have done the comparison in the hardware simulator so that's all about um, the nan to tetris project one so thank you so much everyone for sticking till the end uh, thank you